Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. Uh, we're gonna pick a lock tonight. Uh, I wanna get a couple of these uh, Bronx lock pickers done that I got from uh, Brian, uh, Ryan McCreary. Uh, so I can send them off. I'm sending a couple big packages to, uh, that works perfectly. It's called Just For Fun by Bronx Lock Picker. There's the bidding on the key guys. Hopefully you can see that. Because uh, I got a bunch of packages going off overseas, so I'd like to send a couple of these over to the guys. And I don't have any Bronx lock pickers in there. <laughs> I have some rookie lock in there. I have some. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of other pickers in there that I've already picked. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get in this, guys. I don't need nothing in the bottom of this keyway because I don't pick off the bottom of the keyway on a quick set. Oh, I think I just touched five. I wanted to do a false set. Yeah, I definitely did. A lot of crunching on four. Okay. Yeah, see, I can't get on their five now with this pick. I might have to use a short hook, guys. Yeah, I might have to go to short hook in here. And I'm glad I pulled one up. Uh, been very busy at work, guys. It's, uh... Some people think it's a good thing. <laughs> oh, I dropped my tension wrench. Okay, let's start over here. That's, uh, okay. Got a little tiny turn on that plug that time. Three, I believe that was. There's one. Okay, I'm getting a little counter from two that was, but I just want to run the pins that I can see where I'm at. Huh. Two real high cuts on that key. Man, that's a lot of crunching. <laughs> okay, we just went to that deep false set again. Okay, that felt go went a little deeper now. Okay, now I can't get under that pin with that medium hook. Man, it's even hard to get under with that short hook. Okay, I think I got him set now. That pin doesn't look that low. That's gotta be pin four then, not five. I just lost everything. Hmm. Okay, now I'm back in that deep false set. I get a lot of crunching and popping, but nothing uh, wanting to set for me. <laughs> okay, let's try the short hook again so I can get under it. Number four pin, I believe that's what it is, is the four pin. Hmm. Okay, I just want to do a false set again. So when you get in that false set, you can't get under. I believe that's four, guys. Okay, one. Okay, I touched three. I went in that deep false set again. Let's see, as soon as I go to push under that four, it oversets me again. It's a zero lift completely pin, I think. Okay, just got a little bit more turn on it. Boy, touch one, it gave me a little more turn on that plug. That felt good, actually. This one is a little bit shorter. I might be able to sneak under that pin there. Okay, I'm getting nothing from anybody else, though, right now. Number one is giving me a little bit of counter. Okay. Something just fell in the front, but I'm definitely getting counter from four there, and I just barely touch them. Okay, touch one. They went into a deeper false set. Two. And I can't get under that four pin again, see? I literally got to force him out of the way to get to pin five. Hmm. Awesome lock, Bronx lock picker. Okay. Okay. Well, that feels good there. Let's go back to one now. Okay, touch one. It gives me a little bit better. All set. Two. Nice click. 
three, I'm getting a little bit of counter in. I don't want to push them too hard. And I'm definitely getting counter on four. Okay, we definitely set four that time, guys, because he's not in my way anymore. Okay. Went a little deeper on two. Now I got heavy, heavy tension on this lock, guys. <clears throat> Got a click out of five, but nothing else is talking now again. A little click on three that was. Hmm. Okay, I just believe I lost a couple there, guys. That number four pin is still up out of my way because I got my deeper hook in here right now. I believe number four might be overshot. Oh, no, I just broke my pick. Ah, that's my favorite dodge ever. Oh, man, that's bad news. Let me see if I can get him out of the back of here. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Ah, well, that, that pick served me well for a long time, guys. Okay, now we got a deep false set again. And that was just touching four, I believe. Okay, there's one. One is definitely set. Uh, I can't believe I broke my favorite pick there. Ah. <sighs> I slid under now, and I want to do a really, really deep fall up, and I can't get back under set. I can't get under four. Okay, I think we set four that time. I got to see how deep we are into this video, guys. I can't upload nothing that's more than 15 minutes. <clears throat> okay, five. Four over set. Three, very nice click and a little turn on the plug. One and we're open there. Goodness gracious, that was a tough lock. How far are we in? Seven minutes. Wow, Bronx Bach Picker, that was a tough little lock, buddy. That's not taken out of frame. And I wanted to add some other stuff into this video today, but I'm not going to be able to. I'll, I'll probably do another video this evening, guys. Let's get this gutted. It looks like just a spring clip on the back of there, but he's got a screw in it. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's hard, too. Wow. I wonder if that screw is holding that spring clip. It feels like it. It's, uh... Oh, that spring clip actually goes through this. The screw actually goes through that spring clip on there. Okay, I see. That's a pretty weird lock. I've never seen one like that. God, I can't believe I just broke that pick. Okay. I don't want to lock it up. Okay, I got it off. I got it off of there, guys. Thought I had it off. <laughs> okay, it's off. All right, there was definitely something, some kind of teeth finish in here. So let's put a shim in it. That was a tough little lock, Bronx Lock Picker. My shim don't want to go in. My key pin's this way. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get follower in here, guys. Get this core out. Key pin should be toward me. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of thread in there. I see. Okay. So, what did I do with here? The key? Sorry. All right, I see one, two, and five are threaded. Four and three are counter milled. There's all the pins in and working, and there's definitely a T-pin in the back of that lock. I don't want to knock everything out when I pull that key back up, but you can see everything's in and working, guys. Okay. All right, let's get them dumped. I'll get you down to the pin and board and show you what Bronx Lock Picker put in here. Awesome lock, Bronx Lock Picker. <clears throat> Wow, these are some awesome serrated pins here. Very nicely done. 
three. Come on out of there. That's the one in that counter milk chamber. He doesn't want to come out. Let's see if we can fire out okay. Okay. Very nicely serrated. And the last one's like a T pin on the top. Uh, let's get in the top of this guy. See what's up here. Very nice serrated in one steel spring. Another very nicely serrated in two copper spring. Oop, that one came shooting out. Wow, that's a long pin. And he was in, I believe, that way. No, this way. That spring don't want to come out. I got them. It's a copper spring. We're going to back for the rest of them, guys. Whew. So I'll get this sent off now. We'll send this to Germany, guys. Or England, one or the other. <laughs> I also have a package going to Canada, too. So, wow, those are some awesome long pins here. Guys, I got shoot. I don't think he did anything to the Bible upstairs at all, guys. Let me get a light and see. Nah, it doesn't look like it. There's really no way to get up there unless you go through the bottom of it. All right, let me bring this down to the pinning board, guys. <clears throat> I think I've actually figured out how to zoom in here. Let me see here. Okay, so. and Okay, we'll just move these over as we go. In chamber one, we had this awesome serrated here. With this really cool, real long serrated up above him. Steel spring. Number two, we had this really cool serrated. With this monster serration up above him. Number three, this little short serrated pin. I'm going to say that's more of a spool with the serrated spool up above him. Oh, I dropped it. Hold on, guys. And he was in the, uh, the other way. He was in this way. See a little tiny serration on the top of him? Very nicely done, Bronx Lock Picker. Awesome pins, buddy. And this guy was in this way. Very nice pin. That was a pretty tough little lock. And then this one, real deep spool with a serration here and then like a ball on the top of it. Very nicely done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not far enough over. Then we had, in the key pins, we had this serrated T pin and then this serrated, I'm going to say that's a spool. These two are going to be spools here. Because those are pretty deep. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening. And good night. Thanks for all your support. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.